Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm back with another video and this is my Tamarack Angler 100 and I'm going over my budget setup. Alright guys, this is my Tamarack Angler 100 and I got this out of Walmart for $233. For a budget entry level kayak, it comes with a paddle, two hatches, three rod holders and mind you, one of the rod holders is a Scotty mount. I mean the kayak is stable, what more could you ask for? Alright, and this is my Garmin Striker 4 Fish Finder. I got this out of Amazon for $102. $102. It's a fish finder. It's a GPS. It does wave points. It has chirp sonar. It's color screen. It's easy to navigate. Everything is straightforward. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to, to, to know how to use this. I mean, I was seeing things for two, three, four times the price. I mean, it's a fish finder. It does the job. Easy setup. I had no problem setting it up. I mean, you can't beat it. Budget. Real quick, guys. These are my stubble plugs. Foam golf balls. 12 of them for $7.99. I mean, it's a deal. All right. This is my stadium seat. I got it out of Academy Sports for $34.99. I mean, this was inspired by other YouTubers. I took a shot, I bought it, and it's so much more comfortable. You, you sit up two inches higher. I mean, for them days that you're on the water for hours and hours and hours, it's so much better than, than the stock seat that it came with. All right, guys, my next piece of equipment is my fishing net. I got this fishing net from AliExpress. It's stainless steel, it's less than $10. I mean, it extends, it can hold up those, you know, those big, 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 big gallons of water. It can hold up, it can hold that up. So this, this is going to do the job for me. 10, less than $10. You can't beat it. All right, guys, the next budget item on the list is my fishing crate. No, I didn't go spend a whole bunch of money trying to get a fishing crate. I got this for free. Yeah, I saw the guy delivering milk down the block. I asked him for two fish, two milk crates. He gave them to me. One of them, I cut the top off. I tied them together with some zip ties. And voila, I got a fishing crate for free. For free. And it's just as good as the ones that you buy in the store for $35, $40. I mean, if I wanted to add some rod holders, I slapped some PVC piping. And then I got my rod holders. I mean, it's just as good. It works for me. All right, guys. The next item right here. This is my anchor. I caught a sweet deal off of eBay. I got a five pound anchor with the rope and the carabiners, $13. I mean, this is a no brainer and this is a way better anchor than the ones they're trying to sell you in the store. They get caught up on the rocks. Way better anchor, no brainer, budget, budget. All right guys, let's go to the other side of the kayak. These are my bungee cords. I got them out of Walmart for $3.97. They're 48 inches long. They tie down the fishing crate and my stadium seat. I mean, you can't beat it. I'm going to get another pair. All right, guys. These are my kayak leashes. I got them from AliExpress for three of them for $9.34. They're three feet long. I waited three months for them because of COVID-19. These are my fish grips. I got it out of Amazon for $10.94. All right. This right here is my life vest. This is imperative. This is essential if you're going to get on the water. I paid 50 bucks for this at Walmart.com. It's an extra large. It works for me. It does the job. I feel safe. I'm coming home to my family, just in case anything goes wrong. All right, guys, this is my VHF radio. I got this on offer up. The seller said he didn't have a charger. I took the gamble and bought it. I realized all this thing needed was some bar some batteries. I put a couple Duracells in there. It turned on. It works. And I'm good. I, I'm, my safety game is up to par. So anything go anything was supposed to go wrong, I'm good. Call a Coast Guard. I get back home to my family. All right, guys. Next item on the budget list is the waterproof case I got from Walmart. I got this case for ten bucks at Walmart. This case secures my battery for my fish finder, so it doesn't get wet. Um, the battery I got from Cabela's. The battery with the charger cost thirty bucks. Then I bought another separate battery for another twenty dollars. Um, for my nav light. So all together with the two batteries and the charger, it was 50 bucks for the whole battery setup. And on a 12 hour charge, I spent seven hours in the water one time and the battery was still going. So I think this is an awesome deal. This is a great deal out of Cabela's. 50 bucks, I got two batteries and a charger. You can't beat it, you just can't beat it. All right guys, anyway, this is my 50 hook. I made this myself. I bought the, the, the parts 
or the, the items out of Home Depot. If you guys are interested in how I made this, leave some comments in the comment section below and I'll make a video for you guys. All right, guys, this is my dry bag. Here's the backstory behind this. So I ordered a Kawatha dry bag from eBay. When I got the item, they sent me the Waves dry bag with no insulation. So I contacted the company. They told me, you know what? Keep the Waves dry bag. They refunded me my money. So basically I got this for free. I got this for free. free. Can't beat that. You just can't beat it. All right, guys, this is my nav light. I got this idea from another YouTuber. His channel is called Fishing and Stuff. I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can go check his channel out. I mean, this is an awesome idea. I made the nav light with the switch, PVC piping, some black spray paint, a brake light, and some LED strip light with some speaker wire. This nav light makes me completely visible at dawn to all the bottles when I'm first launching. So it's an awesome, awesome, awesome nav light. This cost me probably about $5 for the brake light, another $10 for the LED strip. So we had 15 now. I spent another maybe about $8 on the speaker wire. So now we had 23. So let's say I spent another $7 on PVC piping. Now we had 30 plus the battery. So all together, the battery cost 20. So all together, I spent $50 for a nav light. And nav lights right now going upwards of 100 bucks. I mean, wow. I mean, budget, budget. All right, guys, let's go over everything. All right, the kayak cost me 233. The fish finder was $102. The golf balls, I used the scupper plugs, $7.99. The stadium seat, $34.99. My fishing net was $9.60. The anchor was 13 bucks. The bungee cords was $3.97. The leashes was $9.34. The fish grips was $10.94. The life vest was $50. The VHF radio was $40. The waterproof case was $10. The two batteries and the charger collectively was $50. And my nav light setup was $53. Grand total for my setup, you guys ready for this? Was $624.98. So if you guys want a budget friendly entry level setup, all you need is $625. But you know the price has probably changed because of COVID-19. But guys, that's my setup. So if you guys enjoy my content, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit the bell for notifications. What you guys waiting on? Hit the subscribe button. Alright guys, I'm out.